Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and we are playing Farming Simulator 19. We are homesteading Grizzly Mountain with hard economy and no loans. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 9. Hey, don't forget to hit that like button. So this is a continuation. I had my lunch and I am back over here collecting up all the logs taking them back to sell them I did another one of those wonderful maneuvers where hardware didn't work and it won't work unless you have it plugged into the right hole so yes this is a voiceover or either that or I talk even slower than you think I do because I'm moving really fast but it sounds normal you know what I mean anyway we've got a few loads here to pick up and I have some deciding to do and at the end I'm going to mention what I need to do but since I have the time to talk about what I'm doing right now, I'll discuss it with you right now as well. So what do I have to do? I have to decide my next step. Obviously I cut down trees so that I could make a field here. But really, what do I need to do next? I have 20 sheep. No, I have more than that. What did I have for sheep? I have 28 sheep. Now, I could buy more sheep with this exorbitant amount of money that I'm going to make, which would help me use up the grass that I have. Another thing I could do is buy a baler and a wrapper and plan on selling this excess grass. I could always save the money because I do want to buy a semi-tractor trailer combo to haul my animals with. I also want to get a pig farm started which I guess I really shouldn't do until I have at least one crop to feed them. So maybe I've already decided then what I need to plant in my next field and that would be corn because that's the major crop that they go through. Although, I could just do wheat and then I could get some straw as well. Hmm. That is the plan. Wheat or barley will give me food and bedding straw. Then I can do corn and that would give me the higher 50% of their food requirement. Then I would be at 75% efficiency. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna start with. So I need to buy I don't need to buy a planter because I'm not doing corn first. I have the cedar. So I have everything to do the wheat and straw. Oh, I don't have a combine harvester. Okay, I have to figure that in. I think what I need to do is 
buy a loading wagon get the grass out of the way plow up part of the grass if not all of it plant some crops in two fields then I'll have to buy the harvester I think that's the order I need to do it in we'll have to see how much money I end up with at the end here I might have enough to get a little harvester that'll be the big part I don't have to plow up the grass I can make a third field between the sheep pen and my shed I think there's enough room up there so I need to plow up two new fields then I could plant corn in one and wheat or barley in the other one I'm gonna to have to run a test I'm not sure whether wheat gives more straw or barley gives more straw maybe they give the same amount I'm gonna to have to do a test on that one so if I plow up two fields I will have to buy a planter to plant the corn I I'd buy it because it's not that expensive I think it's twenty five thousand dollars or something I could plan on leasing a harvester and heads when the season is up or when the crops are ready then I wouldn't have to shell out 200,000 or something like that that could 200,000 could go towards the pig farm yeah I'm liking this idea and I could plan on getting the harvester the second growth of crops hmm this plan is coming together
So I took down the last three trees over here. One evergreen pine thing and two of those ugly... Those trees right there, that thing. Those are a headache. You can see them on my trailer. The limbs have ghost limbs. There should be a way you can just back up to them and make them disappear. They are a pain. Anyway, it's all done. Till the next time I want to get rid of one. So as you can see by the clock, it is 11 or 11. 1751, so it's 550, almost 6 o'clock. I've been messing with those trees all afternoon. Actually, all day. No, afternoon. I'm losing power. I guess I need to repair. Okay, last load. Get it all? Yep. Alright, $214,000. I gotta sleep on what I think I'm gonna need tomorrow. Because I am done working for the day. Gonna go home, put my feet up. Go through the catalog, see where I can spend my money. That's what I'm going to do. Wow. Almost feels like I've got another voice in my head. I think I know exactly what I want to do. I think I'm going to plow up two new fields. The one where we just cleared. And another one between the sheep and our shed. And then I'm going to buy a corn planter. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Anyway, look at this. This part's all cleaned up. It's ready to go. All right. Alrighty, let's get over to the building. You know, I just drove over all of that and I should have picked it up, got it out of the way. What was I thinking? All the sticks from that area I just cleared. And I think I can go down more, yes. If I go there, that should grab them all. Oh, missed a couple. This isn't my first rodeo. I've done this before, and I can get them all. Well, dropped another one. All but one. Can he do it? Alright, let's set it there. Knock it over. Lower it down. Let go, grab. How many have I got? Oh, I think I got them all. Alright, let's go throw these in the dumpster. Don't watch. This probably isn't going to work very good. Two. I only missed two. That wasn't too bad. Oh, 
stay in there. I didn't want the ones out of the dumpster. Am I up high enough? Boy, that must have been down in a hole. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Why did it lower it down? Go forward. There we go. Much better. Okay. We need the plow. We're going to get started on making some new fields. And I should probably repair. Well, let me grab the plow because I might need to repair that too. Maybe not. I didn't do much plowing yet. We will see. Repair. 898. Yeah, we better do it. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, but we'll sharpen her up, get her ready to go. All right, let's see. So over there where we just got done clearing, I was talking about, but I was also talking about over here. Right here, we cleaned up this area. I don't see any reason we can't make a field from here to the trees way back there and I could get rid of that tree right there and make it a little bit wider let's see if I make it let's start with making it two tractor lengths from the road one two so we will start right there. That'll leave it at least a tractor length on the side. But I'll be running this direction with my equipment. Let's turn that on. Let's turn that off. We need to allow create fields all right actually I want that back on because it's got the degrees and longitude latitude which help me know whether I'm going 90 degrees in a straight line like that so lower and Plow. Oop. Just popped over one little bit wider. Oh, missed a stick over here. Did you see that? I did. All right, let's see. I plan on taking those three trees out right there. So I will pull it this far right. Oh, well, let's just stop right there for now. So we'll make it that long. And we drop it in right there. And we go, ooh, 180 right off the bat. Cool. 
so we will lower it down. Now, how far over can I go? I'll keep the camera here. should probably stop there. We will stop there. And now we will head back up. 270. Oh my goodness, right on the nosy wosy. It's just a little bit of fudge room next to the sheep pen. And now I gotta match it up with this. And I will just stop there. And come over here. Come back down. How's that degrees? 180.5. There's 180.1. We'll, we'll leave it negative. That way it tries to, or less than 180, which will mean it'll try to turn to the left. I'd rather turn to the left than go into the road too much. Ooh. I planned that just about right. I think we'll call that good. Corner's got a little boo-boo. But <laughs> I'm not going to mess with it. I mess with it, I'll mess it up. Now I did boo-boo on the edge there. Oh, but it popped back. We're going to call that good too. Awesome sauce. Now... I think I can put a worker on this. I just want to try this. If he's got part of a field to think about with the implement, I think he'll do it. Nope, he won't. Let's get him clear over here. So the center of him. Nope, he won't. So there must have to be crops. Or the sensor needs to say... The program needs to say, plowing required. So anyway, I'm going to make another pass around this. And we'll make it one row wider. Actually, I'll fast forward through this. That worked out pretty good. I'd like to know how many acres that is, but... Maybe one? Maybe two? Now we need to decide how we're going to do this one. How much gap should I leave between them? Why is there a log there? I picked those logs up. What is up? This is spooky stuff right here. I'm running a test and 
we're gonna find out what's happening. Hey, don't miss. Back when I uh, was a working person, I dealt with computer programs. Didn't write them or anything fancy like that, but I used them. And when I used them, I used every piece of them. And many times I would call for service support. And the response was, well, no one else has ever said anything about that before. I said, so does that mean that there's nothing wrong with it? Oh, no. We'll fix it. So, two logs. Deadfalls. From the timber. I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to set them on the road. And we are going to get this all on recording. Right there. Dropped them right there. Okay. Turn off my tractor. We are going to save the game. We are going to quit the game. There it goes. We are going to go back into the game. And I'm just guessing here, but I think it's going to be two logs, not on the road, but back in the field. Okay. Get through the lag here of it loading. I'm just doing a slow spin so we can see when lag quits. There we go. All right, let's go to the road. Not that tractor, but that tractor. What do you think? Looky there. Two logs are not there. They are back in the field. I also know that this is a problem on Felsbrunn in the timber of the home place. All right, Giants, you can work on that one. Now, let's pick them up again. I got one more test. What do I have? I got a hold of that. I need the wagon. So I will come over here and drop off the weight. And... Grab the wagon, unload the wood trailer. I bet you can see where I'm going with this. All right, let's see if my backing skills have improved. Well, slow down and you could probably do it, roadkill. You don't have to do everything at 100 miles an hour. We will put these in the dumpster. Hey, there's two. There's a stick up there. What's he doing up there? Can I scooch him in? Come on, go in the hole. Really? You're going to just go side to side. There. Drop those in there. Alright, now we are going to go sell those two pieces of wood. I think if I sell them, they will be permanently gone. <laughs> Look at all the bushes, or the limbs hanging out from underneath the trailer. Uh, that's funny. I think if we sell them, they'll be gone forever. If they're not gone forever after I sell them, 
then we've found a never-ending money maker. All you do is pick up the wood, save the game, pick up the wood, save the game, and quit the game. You know what I mean. That's a... I need to make a pit stop. Okay. Okay, here we go again. Save the game. Quit the game. Load the game. Get through the loading glitch again. that tractor but that tractor and let's go see if the logs are out in the field again no they are not they are gone okay giants I have given you the fix requirements Logs snap back to their original placement. If they're moved, but not sold. If you sell them, they're gone for good. Now I'm going to add another twist to that. That I do believe, even though I have sold them, they leave a trace in the field which will prevent a worker from going through it I think it'll treat it just like a tree I'm not sure on that one I'll do a test on that one here in a little bit not that I want I don't know how many times I've done that there we go all right now we were we were going to get this other field plowed before we went into the scientific mode over there. Alright. I am retired. All I do is play farming simulator all day. I would love to be a... I don't know what you call him beta tester because I can put things through their paces two we'll put it right there I put the grass out that far one tractor length I'm gonna make this field two tractor lengths like the other one and I think we'll do it right about here we'll start now what's my degrees almost zero there we go allow create fields and lower plow now let's see if it'll stay on 360 zero it's drifting left on us there oh that was a big drift to the right and then I overcompensated Yep, I'll have to fix that. There we go. We're back out. Oh, I missed a tree trunk right there. How could that happen?
And let's see. Two tractor lengths from the ugly tree would put it about there ish. Which is just past where I did that. I should have kept them the same. Oh well. Calling it good right there. And we'll make an outline on this edge right here. Forgot to check my degrees. 270 is what we want. Right there. 270. A little less than 270 is just fine. Not a lot less, just a little less. Uh, wow, I didn't make a straight tree line there at all. Huh. Looks like I got a couple more trees to take out. But we'll make it as wide as we can right there. And what are we at? 181... 179.8. We'll call that good. Almost 180. Let's click it to one. Eh, 179.7. All right. Straight line. Let's see what. Oh my goodness! Don't go. Don't go positive. There we go. Stay at 180. Good boy. Stay right there. Dove to the left too far. Going good. I'm going to call it right there. And we'll come over to the other side and come back. What's our degrees? 267. We want 270. Right there. We don't want 270 below 270. Drop that down. 270 or a little bit higher. Oh, it's going to stay locked right on 270. Oh, not smaller, not smaller. There we go. 270. Am I close enough to mix them? Yeah, I can mix them together right here. Is that it? I think that's it. That's it. And we have another outline of a field. Cool, cool. Alright. Well... I think I have run out of time for this episode. I will finish plowing up this field, remove the three trees that are needed to be removed down there, kind of get rid of the trees in the corner up here, and then it'll be past dark, so I'll go to bed, and I will see you tomorrow morning, and we'll get to work on planting some new fields. So that'll be the end of this episode. I'd like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That'd sure make me happy. If you'd like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I'd like to wish everyone, including you, a wonderful day. Goodbye for now.